Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner, voice of the Falcons, Mike Vickert, good guy to know, co-host Danny Berg, back in familiar grounds. We left the live studio audience, come back to the perch. Came back to the perch because the it's been a bit delayed, Yep. but after some waiting and some waiting, it appears that the floor is done. Is, is done. I'm not sure if they have to put another coat on it or not, but basically it's safe for us to be home. Yep. Because there's no noise going on in here. Yes. But Which, this is a good no noise going on. Exactly. That's right. what we want. And then the next step is just getting those baskets rehung. New baskets, new shot clocks, all that fancy stuff. New baskets, new shot clocks, new scorers table. Unbelievable. It's going to go right over there. I can't wait. Hopefully in the next eight weeks. Yes. So we're getting there. We're getting close. Yeah. There's a stubborn little fly. And I, I don't condone violence. However, right, when the fly is interfering with the show, I, might I don't know what I'm going to be able in. to do you know, It feels like uh, that, that presidential, it's the, a the huge, vice presidential debate yeah, with Mike Pence. It's a huge building. Like, we fit over 5,000 people in if we have to, and the fly's got to be on me. It's only on you. Oh, good contact. <laughs> All right, then. All right, so our small fall sports are in action. Been soccer played Saturday, had a home match. They did. You know, down the road on Wyoming Avenue at Scranton Prep Loyola Field. Um, I didn't get to see much of it, um, but we did lose 5 nothing. 5 nothing to a good CCBC Catonsville team. Um, and I also wasn't live because I had my own game. However, I was able to catch a bit of the live stream. Okay. And as soon as I tune in, I hear this voice over the PA system. Our very own touchdown time. There you go. So I heard some, some, you know, unfortunately it was a goal scored by Catonsville. Um, but. but nonetheless, you know, I mean, being able to have a home at prep for the last 15 years has really been awesome. Right. You know, they're, they're great hosts down there. Um, having the turf is helpful now. So we split our time between prep and, sh and shouts. Right. Um, but the men's game, I think it, Coach Evans was just happy to have them play. Right. You know, they had a scrimmage under their belt, but it was their home opener, and unfortunately the Cardinals – uh, spoiled our, our home opener. Right. But it's a long so. season. It's only game number one. So Correct. they'll hang back right. there. And then our women's soccer were supposed to play Saturday at home, but they were um, canceled. So they opened up their season Monday at Union County, number nine ranked National Division Three, Union County, and a, a tough 3 1 lead, even though we held the lead 1 0 early on. Yeah. You know, Coach Tweedy really was just itching to play. I, I, yeah. We got word that we weren't playing against Catonsville, I think, on Thursday. And by Friday, we, we were just contacting so that they could play we were trying for saturday to to still have like right. a, a double header uh home opener uh it didn't work out we couldn't get on the road transportation is well, tough yeah, 24 I mean, hours you can't out find school bus drivers exactly so, you know, right so how are you gonna get yeah. anywhere um but you know union county college also lost a game um Good. right with another opponent so we got them on the road yesterday and and nice three one i say a nice three one loss in, in coach right. tweedy's true debut because union's good yeah uh, they're they're one of the you mentioned they're nationally ranked but year in and year out i mean they coach angie at union has done a great job of getting them to be one, a national contender every year so that's a very good team that they right. play and we always talk union lackawanna rivalry right, with women's yeah. basketball and stuff too so it was nice We're to you know, get out there and you know yeah. and compete but um i gotta give a big shout out because i did watch the end of the first half and much of the second half to sophia androli at goal she was unbelievable unbelievable i heard she was a beast from you from yeah. you guys i unfortunately was tied up with my own game yeah. but um i've said it since she set foot on this campus uh when she was originally recruited that she is such a darn good yeah. she's just consistent and and she's very good at the position um so it's nice to see her have a full squad in front of her right um yeah. so that she's making i think you said 11 saves uh -huh. and whatnot sometimes that could have been 30 yeah. you know uh but Oh, it could have easily been like 12, 13, 1 without Sophia in goal, yeah. you know, easily. And the, the one goal that she did give up, you know, kind of was like a little fluke. I guess she left the box just a little bit. The ball popped up and landed and the guy. I mean, like after you work like your butt off that there. hard, things happen. But, you know, yeah. you know, she was absolutely outstanding you know, right. in goal. So, you know, we're all very proud of her. And then, of course, Ashley Bruno keep picking up where she left off last year, scoring goals. She you know, since she had her, our long goal and assist, I believe, by Rachel Apsley. And those are two familiar names. Yep. Right. Um, I did get a chance to, to talk with Coach Tweedy last night via text, and she was obviously not happy with the outcome right. uh, because you know they want to win of course but, but focused on I'm, we're going to be so competitive this yep. year and it was so 
encouraging to hear that because right. that hasn't been something that's been relevant for, for a little bit. Right. And I think, you know, some consistency. And Coach Smith did a great job of kind of lining up these recruits you know, for right. Coach Tweed to take And over. usually, like, if you're an op opponent and you're like, oh, we're going to schedule, you know, Lackawanna women's soccer for, like, a little makeup, you're thinking, oh, we're just going to go over right. there and walk all over them, you know, for the length of the match and, you know, walk out 12 nothing. But right. um, that didn't happen yesterday and it's not going to happen this year. We see a lot of W's happen. in the women's yeah. soccer, you know, coming up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic for them, you know. And, yep. and both of our teams are back in action, you know, this week. Yep. Uh, the women are heading down to Howard Community College for, for the Dragon Invitational. They're playing Cape Fear and Howard. And then the men are... Uh, back in action against Northampton on, on Saturday. And we're also looking to add a match with uh, Montgomery County Community College good. for Thursday for the men. All right, good, awesome. Um, once we, you know, get a good. field location. And then, of course, and we'll mention at the end of the show, if you want to catch any of the action, you know, any of their home games, we're or if fine. our road opponents are streaming them, you know where to find it. And exactly. we'll go over all that stuff at the end. And then yeah. one of our other athletic teams that was competing this week was, of course, our eSports teams. Yeah. And uh, a big shout-out to Caden Delaney because he is our... Athlete, athlete of, of the week. week and he'll be talking to Tom in a little what an honor not only to be named athlete of the week but then to get to be able to sit down and talk to Tom I mean that's I think that's why they're striving to become the athlete of the week now yes. now that he kind of just inserted himself to being the interviewer right for yeah and I think he has every right to he's the producer yeah of course is and this what is this episode four I don't even so I he just forgot who really. he just forgot who you know Dr. Larson was <laughs> kicked his butt to the curb <laughs> That's it. That's it. Gone. Sounds good. You know, and usually, like, athletes, if I've trained one of our athletes of the week, I'll reward them with a strength and conditioning shirt. I mean, unfortunately, I don't get a chance to work with eSports, but right. he has a better treat of sitting down and talking with Tom than worry about just getting a measly old shirt. shirt from me. T-shirt might get thrown away. Those memories with Tom. Last forever. Do Tell me. Stuff yeah. too, so. But, um, again, catch all our eSports on Twitch, you know, all the results, yeah. you know, on their social media pages and our social media page and our website. Rocket League. What else we got Overwatch. There? Listen, Overwatch. Let's get that stuff together there, Coach Bobby D. All right. His work, his real work is interfering with his coaching. I know. I hate when that happens. It's awful. Every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. But, you know, congratulations to Caden. And uh, we wish him the best of luck talking to Tom. I'm sure yeah. it'll go swell. And Absolutely. you're going to be able to see that in a second. So stay tuned. We'll be right back on the Falcon's Corner. Take flight. Oil and gas jobs are back. Are you looking for a life-changing experience? Lackawanna College's School of Petroleum and Natural Gas can put you on a path to a lucrative career in the production and delivery of America's energy in just two years. Choose from two degree programs or two certificate programs with internships that give students real world and practical experience in the field. Lackawanna College will give you the education you need to build a career in this exciting industry. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. Apply today at Lackawanna.edu. Hey, it's Tom Ferguson, Sports Information Director here on Falcon's Corner, and it's time to meet our Falcon Athlete of the Week. Alongside me is Caden Delaney, a freshman, right Caden? Yes, sir. Yeah, a freshman for the eSports program, playing in Rocket League. They opened up their season last week. It didn't go the way they wanted it to. However, Caden had a bunch of saves, scored a couple goals for them as well, and he was our Athlete of the Week last week. Caden, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for... Uh Introducing me, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm excited to be here. I've always wanted to just be uh, appreciated for how long I've been playing Rocket League for. I've been playing for a very, very long time, since like 2015. I have way too many hours on the video <laughs> game, and it's just finally paying off now. Well, I, I was going to... This is obviously relatively new when I was in college, you know, 10 years ago or so, playing video games and, and you know, getting scholarship for it and, you know, mm. competing for a college for it was way, way out there. So yeah. what it, was it like for you to kind of get that opportunity to be like, oh, um, wow, this thing that I put so much time into, I can do this at another level? So I honestly started my sophomore year in high school. I found out that Lackawanna had an esports team and it just really caught my eye as soon as I seen it. One of my friends was on the team at the time and I, I just got to talk to him about it and it really just got me excited and I just knew that's what I wanted to do. Right. And I just wanted to be a part of the team and just try it out definitely because there's so many um, new beginnings that Lackawanna could bring you after. Yep the two years or the four, whichever you choose. Sure, sure, whatever, whatever happens. So what, how did you, you found out about it and then how did you kind of come to, to realize, all right, this is where I want to be, this is where I want to go? Um, 
I'm not really too sure. I just uh, I just felt like playing Rocket League for Lackawanna mm -hmm. coming here. Just the um, financial situation. It's not too expensive to be here. I got a pretty nice scholarship to be on the team, and it was just everything worked out in my favor. I, I got to think the investment too. When you 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 know we haven't we haven't been on in the arena yet so far this year in Falcons Corner, but they've been there in the past. And then you walk into that room. That's yeah, that's some high grade it's stuff. It's crazy. There. It's honestly a different. I think there's a whole vibe in there. It's insane. You could just really sit down and just lock in. Nobody messes with you, and you could just sit down and concentrate. No worries. No nothing. No. Why Rocket League? What what was it about this game that um, spoke to you? Honestly, it's kind of like a real. It's like a really really simple game at at its core. Mm -hmm. And there's but once you get to like a certain level in the game, it gets to become really really competitive and really challenging. And that's just what I like in a game. I love the challenge. I love the competitiveness. I love the toxicity. I just love <laughs> all of it. I just love the the competitive factor. I, I, feel, I feel like of the games, you know, obviously there's there's a lot of angry arguments that can happen over a game like Super Smash Brothers yeah. or, or even a sports video game. But I feel like of the video games that we offer here at Lackawanna, it's the closest resembling to an actual sporting contest. Yeah, it's definitely the closest to a sporting game. But it's way different than ro like uh, soccer, sure. Because there's so many different elements that you could like fly around, boost, do a whole bunch of mechanics. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy at some points. What what to you? Uh, you're someone obviously who, who you said it yourself. You played it for six years at this point. Yeah. When you're watching a Rocket League game and you see someone who's impressive, someone who impresses you, mm -hmm. what's that person doing? Um. Basically, when I whenever I see someone and I'm like, wow, he's really, really good, it is probably because they're, they're like really consistent. They know how to rotate around the ball. They know how to pass to their teammates. They know how to uh, conserve boost, grab extra boost, get sure. the small pads, get all the what you need to be good at the to compete at the higher level. So kind of like an all around yeah, kind Yeah, you of just you kind of need to be good at pretty much everything if you want to play at the higher level. You can't right. you can't slack at a single thing. Right. We're talking with Caden Delaney, our athlete of the week here at Lackawanna College, competes on the Rocket League team for the esports program. Are there any of the other sports that we offer that you you play around with or um, is it just kind of Rocket League you're I play on? around a little bit of Valorant, but I'm not too I'm not too good at it I'm only like gold one which is on the lower end of the ranks mm -hmm. but I just I just want to focus on Rock League at this point yeah I've been playing it for so long I want to see where I can where I can take it to so your gamer tag everybody has these gamer tags that they use your gamer tag <laughs> is Bozy B-O-Z-I yeah. what's the st is there a story behind it or? um it's kind of actually funny so I've had a bunch of different usernames and I actually played against some guy named Bozy I stole my name <laughs> from somebody seven years ago, six, no, eight years ago. I stole my gamer tag from him because it just looked so like clean and it, it's just all around really cool. <laughs> I've been using it for as long as I can remember. Are you concerned that you will run into him at some point again mm -mm, and it'll be I, a Bozy standoff? <laughs> <no>. <laughs> If it ever comes to that, I'm going to win the standoff. <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one, right? There can only be one. <laughs> you guys had a tough start to, to your NACE competition. Just started last week, a couple losses, but you got your first win last night, Monday yeah. night, against Carl Albert State in uh, NJCAAE, if I can say that right. Yeah. Uh, how did it feel to kind of get into the win column with that? Um, it honestly felt really, uh, really good. I, we just have to work on the small things we need to work on on the team we just need to get more chemistry together mm -hmm. and then we we honestly can take down one of those bigger schools like Drexel that we lost to yesterday it was just it's a, it just all came down to the finer nitty-gritty things that you need to pinpoint uh, the, the the matches you guys played against Temple and Drexel that mm. there were moments where it felt like you guys were competing like yeah. where it felt like you know there, there were some of those, like the second game, I think, against Temple. Well, you were down 4 nothing. You came back to make it 4-2. Yeah. Second game against Drexel, I think it was 6 nothing or something yeah. like that. But then that third set, third you guys set. had leads with about 90 seconds left. Yeah. Um, it's just all about clicking for all three games. We haven't mm -hmm. really been practicing because it's really early in the season and everyone is still working. And yeah. college is still 
in classwork and homework, it's really a struggle. But it's just we need to practice more. We have to watch more films together. Well, not films, like our VODs. See what mistakes we did and try to work them out. Do you have, is there like a pregame routine that you go through? Kind of, um, you know, similar to like someone in football who listens to music or something uh, like that? Or? I usually just go into like a free player training and just warm up. I won't do anything too like crazy. I'll just get my fingers warm, mm -hmm. make sure I feel good for the day. Right. How do you how do you like your teammates? Uh, are are you, are you all in there in the arena yet, or are you still working um, with some remote people? How, how's that working right now? Well, we all have not been into the the facility at the same time. I want to I want to do that with our team. That'd be really cool to get all three of us. I feel like the energy and the synergy would be really cool. Right. But so far for our three games, um, two of my other teammates have been remote. Mm -hmm. I've been in the facility, but uh, it doesn't seem to cause an issue though because. Once you're locked in, everything is just, it's just going right. Right. We're talking with uh, Caden Delaney, our, our Athlete of the Week on Falcon's Corner here. Caden, uh, let's talk about you. What are you studying while you're here at Lockdown? Um, I'm studying cybersecurity. Okay. So what do you want to do? Obviously, um, the, obviously, you want to see where this Rocket League thing goes, but yeah. what's, what's kind of your, uh, your, your vision for what happens? In my, my backup plan, I want to see if I can go somewhere, like maybe to the government, see if I can help them with like, have you heard about the oil crisis, the oil pad mm -hmm. that got hacked into by the Russian um, hackers? I, I want to be able like, to stop that. That'd yeah. be pretty cool to do. It seems really interesting. I've been interested into like electronics and uh, video games and computers my whole life. So yeah. it just seems something really interesting to me. How often do you play Rocket League now outside of your matches and, and um, practices? pretty much every day <laughs> for at <laughs> really? least like two hours because <laughs> if you take a break on that game you just fall behind yeah. you get you get washed <laughs> in a sense what uh what other games do you like to play um i used to play rainbow six siege a lot i got pretty good at that game i mm -hmm. hit the highest rank but i stopped playing that because it got really old um i play i honestly play a lot of games i play pretty much anything out. Yeah. I, I just I just like video games. <laughs> what, what's what's the video game when someone comes up to you and says, hey, what's your favorite video game? Like, what's, uh, what's your go-to answer? Rocket League. Yeah. Rocket League is definitely my favorite Seems game. I'm obvious. very passionate <laughs> about it. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite console? Obviously, you guys play on the computer, right? Yeah. So is that is that your favorite one to, um, to use to play with, or are there gotta, other things you gotta like? It's got to be the Xbox 360. Okay. Xbox 360, because uh, the memories, Black Ops 2, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the best games ever. Yeah. Adva or not advanced, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Okay. Best, ga best game ever. So, like any athlete, you got to stay hydrated. You got to stay, you know, uh, energized with food yeah. or whatnot. Here at Lackawanna, we got plenty of options. What's your favorite food at the calf? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. And french fries. Okay. That's the go-to. And they make and it work? And maybe a slice of pizza. <laughs> Depends on how hungry I am that day. What about locally? What about around the area? What's, what's um, your favorite? Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Okay. Definitely my favorite. All right. <laughs> Gets a little expensive, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Now, are you from here local originally? Yeah. I, um, I used to live in Archibald. Okay. But I've recently moved to past Honesdale, so I couldn't uh, commute because mm -hmm. it's like an hour and 25 minutes where I right. moved to. Right. So I decided to dorm here. Right. But I, I like it a lot in Scranton. Excellent. Uh, what are your goals for this season? To have a positive uh, win record, win-loss record. Um, but if it doesn't happen, there's no worries. We're kind of a new team. Mm -hmm. We've been reversing teams that have been playing together for three, four years two years and it's just it's all about chemistry at the higher level and 3v3s is all about knowing your teammates when they're gonna what they're gonna do when they're gonna go where they're at on the field sure it's really a science when it comes down to it but it's gonna be a fun year I think so are you the only freshman on the team or um I think so yeah I think I'm the only freshman yeah yeah I'm not too sure though but you know everybody's obviously still new and yeah still kind of still kind of getting used to each other yeah so my last question for you is, how do I get an eSports jersey? You're going to have to talk to Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't even have my own yet. This isn't mine. We're, <laughs> waiting, for the, we're waiting for the new ones. 
<laughs> all right, so that's who I'll get after then yeah. on that. You got to talk to Teddy. Time. Okay, excellent, <laughs> excellent. So uh, check out Caden and Company on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lackawanna EDU. Rocket League games are happening pretty much every Monday. I every like. Monday. We should have uh, Mondays or Tuesdays at 7. And they're, they're both the NACE and the NJCAAE competitions that you can see them in on Twitch. Caden, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Our Falcon Athlete of the Week will be back with more. It's Falcon's Corner. Take flight. At Lackawanna College, we never said we could change the world, but we believe our graduates can. That's why we offer programs in healthcare fields like ultrasound technology. Our graduates play a vital role in modern healthcare, using diagnostic technology to help improve the lives of their patients, making a difference in people's lives. That's what changing the world is all about. And it all starts at Lackawanna College. Visit Lackawanna.edu today. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. We are back on the Falcons Corner. Voice of the Falcons, Mike Ricker. Good guy to know, Danny Berg. On the perch, long time since we've been on the perch. Yeah. Thank you, Caden Delaney, for taking out of your time to. Uh, Busy. You know, I think I saw Tom signing over a couple autographs and some esports jerseys with his signature on there. So I'm sure they'll be hanging up in Caden's room somewhere, or maybe down in the esports arena. Maybe down in the arena. Yeah. We might have to go live from there too. Someday we will. Yeah. Someday we could do that. Maybe but we'll uh, get invited, Coach Delaney. <laughs> we always invite him up here. That's the I least know. we can do is come down. Yeah. You know, come down. So um, let's just talk about you know the week ahead of what we got going yeah, on here. Definitely. So um, we didn't talk football yet. So football is on the road, um, heading down to Greensboro. North North Carolina to take on ASA Miami um, in a I would like to say like a rivalry because we always seem to play ASA Miami so it's a right. uh, nice to be back on the road and try to get that first victory of the season I know ASA Miami is 0-2 coming into this matchup but they're always a quality but they're quality a good opponent. team yeah. Yeah. you know and they've played good opponents yep. so but uh, the tough part is that neutral site game yep. I mean at least we're not going all the way down to Miami for a home game for them but right neutral site it's tough to travel yep you know so I mean to second game of the season yep. having to get on the road it's just the nature of the beast uh, being on the east coast yep. and after losing that heartbreaker their ICC you know I'm sure they're gonna want to you know right. get up early and just keep the foot on the gas yes. and uh, come home with a nice victory and get to one and one and uh, keep climbing those national rankings to get back into the bowl scene national championship scene so best of luck to our Falcon yep. football players um, we did discuss soccer already so we know where they're at and then again even though they're not in season our fall baseball and softball softball are on the road this weekend at some division two powerhouses yep. so good exposure for our kids you know get on there playing some quality points yeah yeah softball I mean they're they're gonna go to Millersville for Friday and then they're at Mansfield on Saturday they'll come home an exchange of the van keys from Coach Pittsman to Coach McCary uh -huh. that they're finding out about right now. <laughs> um, Coach McCary uh, has a pro day, yeah. or a scout day rather, uh, yeah. for his team on Sunday right. uh, on the 19th. Good. So, I mean, they, they're really getting things started off yep. right. I mean, jumping right into the thick of things, and they all feel that they're prepared to do what they have to do. Yep. Um, both coaches have done a really good job of getting prepared to be able to go compete against those teams early on in the, in the fall right yeah which is which is great so best of luck to all of our fall student yeah. athletes come home with w's of course and if there's streams check out instagram twitter facebook lackawannafalcons.com and the ever most famous twitch i started following it i'm not on twitch yet but i like to say twitch yeah i think it sounds cool i'm on twitch i sit there i see things yes don't know what's going on but you see it. But I, I see it, you know, yeah. and I've, I have a number of my friends, and now I'm able to follow them. Yep. And I say, hey, why don't you follow my butt? You know, yeah. it's a that, thing. That's how it works. And before we leave, I just got to give a shout out to my polar bear, the original polar bear who just started taking up golf, won his third match of the Did year he? just yesterday. Oh, so he so is on fire. Friend. That's two in a row. Ooh. So the polar bear is lighting it up on the golf course. His grandfather keeps buying him new clubs, which is very exciting for me because it saves me a couple extra dollars. So, so two in a row. Two in a row, three One in a row. more. Yep. It's called a winning streak. Yes. Straight from the movie, Major League. And he does have a match today, so we Ooh. wish the original Polar Bear, All right. former producer of the home shows. He was. Um, the best of luck as he goes for victory number four and third overall. He's third still not overall. good at golf, but he it's match play, Doesn't and he matter. just has to be good in a couple of holes, and that's all we worry about. And he is, again, three is a winning streak. Yes. He is going to be on a bigger winning streak than anybody else that I've been around lately. The, the polar bear. Love that the kid. The polar bear. Love that kid. And he gets his inspiration still from 
um, John Fox, who is a social studies teacher at Last Riverside year, yes. High School. Yes, yeah, yes. Middle so, school. So beautiful. But best of luck to the polar bear and all of our Falcon athletes competing this week. Like I said, W's only. That's it. All right. We'll be back next week to watch it. From the Perch. Yes. Voice of the Falcons, Mike Rigger. Good guy to know. Danny Berg. We'll see you next week. Take flight, Falcons.